January 21st, 2021. This one here I gotta go um, install a uh, indirect water heater on an oil fired boiler. The guy's got a tankless and he's um, complaining about the glide on the tankless, not getting enough hot water and getting hot and then cold and it's never a good thing with the tankless so told him that an indirect water heat is the best way to go and that's what he wants to do so it's all zone valves over there so I'm just gonna put another circulator you know off the uh, boiler drain on the bottom and tap in off the where the relief valve comes out for the supply run a three-quarter line over to the indirect water heater supply and return and um, the hot and cold is only half inch because it's tankless. So I'll try to get you some shots when I get there. And uh, this way here, the guy will have a nice steady flow of hot water, you know, off a tank. So, I'm trying a different type of tank this time. Um, IBC. It's all stainless with a stainless coil. It's like a pretty nice little setup. Anyway, it's early. It's probably probably quarter of seven, and I want to get a good early start on it so I can get it done. I left the dog home because it's cold. It's like 22 degrees this morning, so I'm not going to leave the dog in the, the cold in the truck all day. It'll be cold for us, so we'll try to get you some shots if I can. That's good. Three zone valves. One circulator on the supply. But I can take this, come out of here. Put a T there. I'm gonna put the tank over there. I'll just put them blocks. I got the tank right there. And uh, it's got a tankless. This is all gonna be disconnected. I'm gonna go with the tank. You might have a bad expansion tank. Go we'll check that while it's down. This thing's upside down. We'll check that while it's down. Not easy being cheesy, man. It's fucking cold, man. Whew. Boil the water's gonna come out the side. And then this hot and cold is gonna come up and right up. So it'll be fine. Control is going to be over there. The relief valve. It's going to work out good. The return, I'm just going to come out and then maybe drop down underneath or something. I'm going to make sure that door opens. I'll do something with it. I'm get the water out of the boiler. Alright, so I got the hose running out the bulkhead. I had to put three of my hoses together. We can drain the boiler down. I'm gonna have to check the expansion tank. The pressure seems a little high. It's above 30 there. So that's a concern on mine. We'll check this tank. And uh we'll probably we'll probably replace the relief valve too. Well, I'm here. My pump right there. Pump it out. Unless that gauge is no good. That gauge might not be any good. Well, that's a half inch one. Yeah, the gauge is no good. These, these are off anyway. I'm gonna put a new height on there anyway, probably.
Nu går vi ikke. I'm gonna change this boiler drain because this was leaking for sure. He's a crusty one, Mr. Grinch. I think that's half inch. I might have a half by quarter bushing for that. Put a different try to key there in there for the guy. Maybe. If I'm feeling. If I'm feeling good. Do a burn and cleaning a couple of times. We're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna get this teed off and valved off so we can get the boiler back together. She's a crusty one, Mr. Grinch. Don't smell like glycol. That's good. Check this pressure in this tank. I'll be fine. Nope. Tanks, tanks junk too. Well, we got nine pounds. Nine pounds. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Alright, so I just took that boiler drain out. It was leaking by anyway. We had a cap on it. I put a nipple, a three-quarter T. A new boiler drain. Three-quarter boiler drain. And then I come out, I put a ball valve. I'm gonna take this out here and put a T here. And I could put the relief valve on coming out or going over that way. So one line's gonna come out this way and over to them feeds. And this one's gonna go around this boiler so this door can open. For access to clean this boiler. He wants this changed too. I talked to him. So I'm gonna change that. I'll put a little bit more air in the tank. It should be like 12 pounds, it's nine. All right, so we'll just come out here. We took that. I took that elbow that was there off, put another elbow, come over with a piece, put a T. I'm gonna put the, I put a new relief valve, we'll put it right there. I'm gonna come over with the ball valve. I'm gonna put the circulator on the supply. This one's on the supply also. Keep your push away guys, happy. You can see this one's got a check valve in it, so I don't have to put a flow check. It's got a built in flow check. It's got a narrow, so it's got to go that way. So we'll put that in right there. And I got the other one there, so it's isolated. They both got ball valves. It's a problem. We can shut it off.
prefab all these meal adapters up. Let them cool a bit. Put the Teflon on them. I'm going to put Teflon and pipe dope on the meal adapters. Anything copper. I'll use both. This one's going to be a short one coming off the boiler there. Alright, so I put the circulator over here. We're going to shut off if we're going to isolate it. Push away on the supply. When it came down, I'm going to put a high vent right here. Two elbows and down and into the unit. I just put one by three quarter reducers right there. And that one there, three quarter, all the way down. A couple of elbows. I put a little leg on the thing. We're going to solder it yet. Got a ball valve here with a purge valve, right, to get rid of the air. And I put a little leg on the bottom, I could solder that up. I gotta solder this, these joints up here. for this neighborhood.
right, so I put the new Tridicator in there. I'm going to put a bushing. Two by quarter bushing brass. Could have used black, but I didn't have one. I got the return all done. Going right into the tank. The feed on the supply. Come out here. I got the relief valve here for the boiler. Easy access. Ball valve. Circulator. Goes with a high vent, so I should be able to back purge that and just. If not, I got a purge station all over there to get the air out. Relief valve. I got the controller over there. I still have to do the wiring. The cold water. Cold water comes down to the ball valve. Goes through a vacuum breaker and then down into the bottom of the tank with a boiler drain. And this also, this other coil's got a boiler drain there. And then the hot water supply came up. Two elbows and over to the feed going up. So I should be able to turn the water on. And I should be able to purge the air out of the zones. Then I just have to get the controller here and, and do the wiring. I'll show you how that's going to be done. I've got a relay over there. All these purge stations here, i got to do all these purge stations. So, going to take a little while to do all this. I don't know why he's got the 9D looking up. That's kind of odd. That's really odd. Hopefully i got no leaks. I'm gonna purge all these zones, check all this, and then I'll do the wiring. Got a well here. I did spin that. I'm gonna get a nail adapter and put a drop on that. Uh, I'm filling the boiler. We're going to check, see if I got any leaks. I did replace this high vent here. And I did put a high vent here, too. I should be able to back feed that through that other one and, and purge it. Back feed it through this. And the air will come right out of that coil. There it is right there. I gotta put that drop on that piece yet, but I gotta, gotta do this wiring. I wanna make sure I got no leaks before I start attaching stuff to this pipe, you know? I did add, did add some air to the tank. Did change the relief valve for the guy and the triticator. I didn't know that until I drained the boiler down, so. Yeehaw. Got three zones. I'm gonna purge all these zones. There's one, two, three purge stations. Four four purge stations. There's a split loop over there. He's got four. He's got a split loop somewhere. Got that. Thermostat, that's gonna that's gonna call for hot water. This relay here. I got power coming into L1, and the neutral is L2. So the neutral goes to the circulator, and uh, the neutral back in the box. So the power comes in L1. Circulator goes out three to power the circulator. And number four is a red wire, and that's going to fire the burner. The red wire goes over to ZR, which means run, zone run. I'm going to turn this on, circulator will kick in, the relay will kick in. And the burner will fire. The zone valves take 90 seconds. That's how that works. I just gotta purge the zones now. That's full of water. I gotta do this too.
The purge zones is there's three zones. One's a split loop. I got all the valves off. It's going out this one. I got all the the zone heads open. Might not be a lot of air in there, I don't know. I had them all off before, right? Here it comes. Yo, doucheroo, mama. In the meantime, I can start picking up some of my tools. I put that drop piece on that 9D. I'm doing this zone here. I gotta open. Once you open it, once you open it, you lift that lever up to give it full gundy. So that ZR will fire the burner. You bring 110 back to that ZR. Z run. R means run. And then there's a ZC, which is a zone circulator. We'll shut off on reverse for the low limit. So this circulator right here is tied into that C1, C2. Now when it gets to low limit, which is 160, this circulator will shut off. And then that will allow that one to run. Because that's strictly going to 110 through that relay. That don't's not on a reverse to maintain temperature. So it's gonna have a it's gonna have a reverse on it. But that's that that control will fire this burner up when it's calling for hot water to high limit. Just like this one, just like this one will. The way it's wired. I don't know if I'm losing you or not, but I'm all good. I'm gonna switch over to the other zone now. I don't think there's any air in them things. So I gotta head them off. I'm doing the next one. And then I got one more over there, so there's one. Two, three zones plus a split loop. So there's four purge valves. I got one more to do down the end down there. I don't hear any air in it because I had I had all these off when I was doing the work. So the, the heat loops didn't get drained. Let's give it a good flush. Make sure that there's no issues. I want to get a call back, you know. He's been using me for the burner service for a couple of years. Really, one zone there, two, three, and there's another zone ahead right here, four. Found that out because it was boiling, building boiler pressure. So I'd open this, I'd open that one too. But this shit, they reduced the smoke pipe down going into the chimney. That's not right. We're running the small nozzle in there anyway, so I'm not worried about it. But this is a big boiler. If you're running the big nozzle, you'd have to go full size. I don't know why they reduced it. I'm only running a little 75 in there. I'm fine. BTUs, BTU wise, I'll be fine. Is the last purge. We can run it. We gotta open up all our ball valves. Reinstate the heads. Zone valves take uh, 90 seconds to call, a minute and a half. Uh, but it will fire up for the. Uh... All right. This should be. This should be already bled. This won't. This won't come on until it gets to the low limit setting, which is 160. 
I'm gonna probably lower it down to 150. The low limit, the high limit, we could lower this down now, 180. This will run at any temperature because this is gonna maintain 160 or 150. So this circulator, house circulator, won't come on until after it gets to 160, 150, which will maintain, um, you know, good water to go into this. And also, this this is going to fire the burner to the ZR zone run, and the Z ZC is zone circulators to shut the power off to the circulators. <laughs> So you could have a reverse if you got multiple zones. I'm just gonna pick up and I'll get out of here. I got all the zone heads reinstated. I got everything back on. Just gotta take my holes off and I'll be done. Pressure's staying good there. Got 15 pounds in the tank. New Tridicator, new relief valve, recharge expansion tank, installed in direct water heater, new high vents. Should, should take a little, taking a little while, but it'll be swarming up. It's gonna take a little while. I mean, it thing's full of cold water. Plus, it's the heat zones are working. Oh yeah, she's she's too hot. She's toast, mama. Yeehaw. I like this tank. IBC, I like it. Put a vacuum breaker up top there. And put a hanger. And uh, put this and clean that up for the guy. Good enough for this neighborhood. Looks like six hours, seven to one.